How's it going guys? Today I'm going to show you how to edit a video in Premiere Pro on an iPad Pro. Now this is coming after the popularity of a previous video I made showing you how to edit in Final Cut Pro on an iPad Pro. If you want to check that out, you can find it up here. Now Apple has been rolling out software updates that makes this possible and even more efficient than in my previous video. With that, let's get started. So all you'll need to do this is some sort of Mac laptop or desktop computer. I'm using the 15 inch MacBook Pro right here. And then you'll need an iPad Pro. This will work for both the first and second generations, all sizes. You also have to have Premiere Pro installed on your Mac. Now, what makes all this magic happen is the software. So on my Mac, I'm running Mac OS Catalina version 10.15.3 beta. On the iPad over here, I'm running iPadOS 13.4. Now, it is very important that both of your systems are at the most up-to-date software that is possible, otherwise, this won't work. All right, so the trick is actually very simple. All you have to do is go up to the AirPlay icon and click on your iPad. And just like that, it pops your workspace onto your iPad. This feature is called Sidecar, and I think it's one of the coolest things Apple has ever done. So now I can use my Apple Pencil and the Keyboard Folio, which is new for this updated version of Sidecar. I can use all of this with the iPad interface to seamlessly edit a video in Premiere Pro. I don't know about you, but this is pretty darn cool. Um, what I find even more impressive is how little latency, there's like almost zero latency here. Which if you think about what it's doing, it's taking my inputs of the Apple Pencil into the iPad, it's sending that over to the computer, running that through Premiere Pro, fetching the video off the external hard drive that I have plugged into my computer, and then sending all that back to this screen for me to view. To do all that with basically zero latency is very impressive. So you don't actually have to use the Apple Pencil if you don't want to, you can use the Magic Trackpad or the Magic Mouse and use your normal editing system just on the iPad. All right, so what is the practical use of this, you may be asking? Well, how I see this being beneficial is maybe after a long day of editing at your workstation, however you have it set up, you wanna relax on the couch but still uh, get some work done. This is where this feature could come really in handy because you don't have to ditch the current workflow and setup that you have on your computer for the more simplified app version of the normal you know, iPad operating system. You can use your whole computer operating system just on the screen of your iPad, take this, sit on the couch, even go into another room and still pick up from where you left off. I hope this video is helpful in teaching you how to do this little trick here, and if you already have these two devices, uh, it just makes them connect even better. Like I mentioned before with the updates that Apple keeps rolling out, um, when I originally made that Final Cut version of this, the keyboard folio did not work at all, which I thought was pretty disappointing. It is so cool that this now works with the whole system because that just makes everything work seamlessly. If you have any other questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and as always, don't forget to keep it pro.